It's, it's in the hands of the others who decide how we will live, how we will get married. To get married, to come and live with my husband in this country, I had to take the permission of the Israelis. It's not enough that they took our land and they are not allowing us to have our own state, but also they are controlling every detail in our life. Some Israelis have spoken out. More than 500 soldiers have refused to serve in the occupied territories. We are, they've said, like the Chinese student who stood in front of the tank in Tiananmen Square. We are the conscience of our country. Ishai Rosensvi is one of them. I really think the real story of the occupation is there in the checkpoint. I cannot forget this kind of picture, you know, five in the morning, quarter to five in the morning, hundreds of a line of hundreds of people waiting, you know, to pass in the in the checkpoint, and you're standing there, and you see their eyes, some the the, the humiliation, the frustration, the hatred. Then you are the occupation. You have all the power. They have no power. You can at every second take their ID and then they are, you know, they have nothing because without ID identification you can, you know, every soldier can, can arrest them. You are the man that stand there, keep them without rights, without freedom. The world often sees the issue of Palestine through the tragedy and horror of suicide bombings, an expression of despair by powerless people against an oppressor armed with modern weapons. The first female suicide bomber struck in January 2002. Her name was Wafa Idris, the only daughter of a family of refugees who were driven out of their home near Tel Aviv. She was 28, an ambulance volunteer. What makes an ambulance volunteer, a carer, become a suicide bomber? تحكي لنا انه اليوم في واحد استشهد طبعا نزل مخه على الارض مصارينه كانوا طالعات اجره كانت طالعه من محلها طبعا هاي نوع اثر عليها بعض الحالات حتى اللي بيكون يعني بعض الفتيات بتكون حوامل بدها تولد طبعا تولد على الحاجز يموت الطفل تبعها على الحاجز صوبت ثلاث مرات في رصاص المطاط يعني هذا انا بتوقع انه هذا يكون الدافع قوي انها تنتقم لابناء شعب The suicide bombs are presented to the Israeli public as an insane act. An insane people uh, uh, with, with whom there is no chance for peace. Instead of putting a wider analysis which would say there is a, a way out of the suicide bombs while everybody con condemns them and rightly so, there is a way out of it and the way out of it is to provide the circumstances in which uh, these young people would find uh, avenues of hope instead of avenues of despair. There is, I would say, an orchestrated campaign to silence that kind of uh, analysis inside Israel. <laughs> 